want to show you how to configure this tender tender router this one is tender f it's it's it's, it's a tender f6 so i know that i've been it, it has been a while before i upload the video it's only that i've been a bit held up but at least i've seen so many people asking me how to configure to do some basic configuration of this router router tender so tender they have done amazing job and i'm not promoting tender but they have done amazing job with tender so for you to configure this router first what you need to do you have to reset it first then after reset it then you come and log in to it so before we continue make sure you subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload any new video you you, you should be the first one to grasp otherwise just stay tuned and be For you to configure this router, this tender, this tender F300, you have to make sure that you have reset it. There are two ways of resetting it. Either you can reset it by pressing the reset button, or you can reset it by logging into it. If you know, if already you know the password, the credential. So, for you to reset it, you have just to hold down the reset button for some two minutes, like that. Then, when all the lights when you see that the lights have blinked, the front light have blinked all of them at once, then it's at a reset mode. So from there, you come to your PC. After you have reset it, you come to your PC. Then so you have to type the IP. Mine already is there. It already just pop up. So you type the IP 192.168.0.1. That one is a standard IP. Is 192.168.0.1. So you enter. Then the goodness with the tender they have simplified everything. So you just come to the first interface. The first interface shows that this one is a tender. So it gives you a specification. It's just, it normally have a standard login page. So this one is tender. So you come. You can either use PPoE, dynamic, or static. So if you are, if your provider gives you internet with PPoE. You only need to put the you need you need to have the username and the password. Then after having the username and the password, then you change your the the name of the Wi-Fi the way you want it. Then from there you put your password. So like with me my case now, I'm having a dynamic. So you just come to dynamic. If it's a dynamic, you just say okay. Like that. Then from there, if you are having internet from the provider, just make sure that it's, it's, you have to patch the cable from your provider at the port which is written 1, W-A-N, that is the port which you are supposed to patch. Then, the one which is written LAN, that one is the one which goes to your PC. So, okay. So, already I've reset it and I'm connected to internet. So the next one, which I, the next thing which I wanted to show you is how you can if maybe a provider gives you internet with the static, you just come to the first page, internet setting. You come to static. Then you must be having the IP which is provided by the provider. So from there, this is what you are going to do. What you need to do. You have to come and put the IP from the status uh, from the wire. So you come to internet setting, then you choose the static. Static. So if you the provider is the one who is going to give you the IP which is, which is static, then it gives you the DNS, then it gives you the default default gateways and the rest. So. My next step that I want to go to is to change the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi, wireless 
SSS, SSID or to configure the wireless. So you have just, you just need to change the name the way you want it. Like with me, I want to put it Manu Josh Tech. Josh Tech. Josh Tech. Tech. Then you change the SSS ID, which is the Wi Fi password. So it needs eight characters. So mine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight characters. Then you just click OK and it's going to release. So from there, we go to the next step by which you can use the control mechanism which is which is which is there in this router and the control the bandwidth control mechanism can enable you that instead of using the micro tick you can you can use this one as your micro tick that's the advantage with the tender it comes up with an interface which enables you to to control the bandwidth of your customers and it's very efficient if you have customers less than five you can use this tender instead of using micro tick so you just come to bandwidth control so with bandwidth con control you are supposed to, to, you can edit the name of the, the, you can edit the name of the device which is connected to the, is connected to the router. Like mine, for instance, this one is a, that one is a desktop, desktop, mine is a desktop which is connected to it. Then from there, I can control the bandwidth the way I want. Like I can just put, either you can do it manually. Like if you come and write here one, so it depends with the type of micro, the type of router you are using. There are some which you have to multiply at a denomination of 100. Then there are others which just they are they are rated in terms of Mbps direct. Like for download limit is one Mbps, upload limit is one Mbps. Then you just click outside, it comes automatically. Then you say OK. The goodness with this router, you can go to parental control. Parental control is where by now you can enable, you can remove, you can remove a device from that from from the router itself, or you can even allow the access. You restrict the access of that device. So that's the the parental control. So then, if you come to advance. Advanced there, there is nothing which is very, very, is, there is nothing which is important, but you can blacklist. That is the advantage with the advanced. You just paste the, the IP of the device you don't want to access to this router. Then from there, you put the remark and you just add, as simple as that. That is what is important in this router. Then, if you come to administration, administration now, this is where by now you can create the password of login into the router itself. So this password will it is just something which is personal. So like with me, I can just put one, two, three, four. That is the password for logging in. Then I re I repeat, but it wants five characters, so five. Then again I put one, two, three, four, five. Just as simple as that. The goodness with this this administration control is that you can allow the remote access of the router. So remote access means that you can access this router anywhere but normally with tender you you normally access with port 6060 so you just write their port 6060 so that you can access the router of tender from your device so you just apply okay so it's just as simple as that if you come to run the speed test you'll find that i've allocated my router one mpps you'll find that the mpps that is going let's just see you are seeing it can't pass one it's exactly one just see that one is download it's one mpps exactly then uh, just see the upload you are seeing it's, it wants to go but it's coming back to one so it has just to stick to one that's what happened so you can increase the bandwidth. I can increase also the bandwidth. So if you come here, let us run it again. You'll find that it's one upload, one download. 
if you run it again, you'll find that the upload is one download, it has been given just a very small margin, but it can't go past one. So it's going up, then it just come back to one. You see, I've limited it to one Mbps. That is where it is. Yes, see, it can't. It can't go. I've limited it to one. Yes, see, one. So the upload, upload is trying to go, but it can't. So actually it's even hung. So you can just come and increase the bandwidth. So password, login password was one, two, three, four, five. Let me log in and see. No thank. Then you come to administration there. So I can and I, I can increase my bandwidth. Let me see. Let me increase it to to 30. 30 Mbps and see what it's going to give me. Then this one, increase it again to 30 Mbps. Let's see what's going to give me. If I press OK, then if I come back to my speed. See now, it will be going to just see now. We are seeing now what, what it has done. Yeah, so tenders are doing a very good job. So I think it's now 30. That one is 30. So tenders are doing a very good job. Yeah, 30. So it can't go past 30. Yeah, so. That one is a goodness with Tender. You are seeing how it's balancing internet. So I can balance internet for different different clients. Otherwise, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming more and I will also come without to configure the TP. Then I give you some hints or some basic of TP. Otherwise, stay tuned and hold on. Thank you.